What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're still messing with those two budget graphics cards running loss of scale and it's the RX 6500 and the RX 6400 but this time around we got them plugged in to the 9800 X3D so this will not be a bottleneck no more. 6500 is right here plugged into the main slot we got a 6400 there the 6400 has the HDMI let's take a peek here and there, HDMI display. We are gonna do the capture card on the MacBook for whatever reason. We're getting issues with doing capture card with this setup. I don't know why. Um, you can see that we're getting 220 frames as we speak. Um, I just did a quick playthrough on a round and I was able to play the whole round, no problem with 4X generation. This is pretty freaking insane. Frame generation is broke. It was just working just fine. Now it's not working properly. I don't know what happened. It literally was just working. So let's try to unscale. Let's see if we can get this to work again. So I used it for a whole match. And it was working just fine. It is the capture card that's breaking everything. All right, so for whatever reason, when we use the capture card while using frame generation, it doesn't work. So... Let me try to get OBS to do a record. Is I just screen captured and we don't have any indications that loss of scaling is on currently. Capture card breaks loss of scaling apparently. Okay, so that's good to know. So for this video, we're gonna do it, you know, the old school way. And we're gonna take a picture of the picture. Um, because it just doesn't work. It's broken. I, I, I don't I don't know what else to do guys um, it, it just doesn't work properly. So I'm gonna get the tripod and we're gonna get this thing going frame generation with 2x So we have 2x frame generation right now. We're doing 114 FPS and this feels amazing You can see this this feels great. This feels grand You can't really you see the little bit of the ghosting around the head um, the menu, you definitely see the frame generation in the menu, but overall it looks good and feels good. So now let's just jump straight to 4X. And menu, really see frame generation now, and now we're on a ship. Look at that input lag. It is very minimal, very minimal. So look, like feel, look at this. This feels so good. I know um, M uh, MSI is saying something. We're getting 250 frames right now. 260, 265. Let me double check uh, my display real quick because this is a 360 hertz monitor. Yep, we're doing 360. So we're, we are actually seeing all those frames right now. 260 frames. So let's go ahead. Let's get on the field. We don't. We, we won't get this kind of frame rate in action. So glad that I figured out it was the capture card because that was. I it did not make sense to me why that was a problem. So I'm gonna try to figure out on the next video how to capture everything properly. We're getting only 50 frames. So with 4x, meaning we get um, 200 frames. But 200 frames on an RX 6500, are you kidding me? That is freaking insane. And this feels good. Like before it was really hard for me to aim down sight. It is still kind of hard to aim down sight. It's not particularly easy. You do feel the mushiness quite a bit, but it's better. It's like, Oh my god. My whole team's down. I need to run. We got no reinforcements. Come on. Oh shit, he's not dead yet. Shit. All right, I died. But it's very playable. Like I am having zero problem 
playing this game. So I don't know if I'll be <laughs> resurrected. Um, this, this team is like kaputs. But you can see, all right, you can see that it's working well. All right, so let's just go ahead and tab out. God, I can't believe it was a capture card the whole time. Of course it's the capture card. And so there you go. I will, I'm um, gonna do another video with the RX 6600 XT, with the RX 6400. And uh, just because, oh my God, that's just crazy how well this freaking works. It, it's insane. The, these two card, graphics cards are puny boy graphics cards. And the fact that we can do 200 FPS, 1440p, yeah, it doesn't look the greatest. It doesn't look great at all. Do you need a 9800X3D? No, you need just a decent, a Ryzen 5 3600 will, will pair beautifully with these two. You could literally buy these two graphics cards, run them with lossless scaling, with a decent um, six core, uh, 12 threads CPU, and have a really good gaming experience. You saw how good it looked with the frame generation x4 in my opinion it is just as good so now we need to try it with rx 6600 xt to see how well that will work because i don't know about you but i'm pretty freaking excited about this this is so freaking cool but other than that that's for another video i want to try to figure out how to screen capture it properly for that one but other than that guys thanks for watching i will catch you on the next one.